Hello, my friend. Hope you're doing well on this Wednesday. It is chilly, very chilly. I'm sitting on the balcony in a t-shirt, um, as usual, and a pair of running shorts, although I can't run. Um, but it is getting a bit chilly. I wonder if you're getting a break from some of the heat. Several of you have told me that you're in very, very hot um, regions of the country right now. California is uh, on fire, literally, but also the temperature is 110. Uh, I cannot really imagine that heat. I don't think I've ever experienced um, that level of heat. Nevertheless, it's there. So, even if you haven't been through what someone else is going through, try to keep it on your mind. Try to realize that they may be going through something you don't understand, or something that you haven't been through. Just because they were raised in a different area of the country, perhaps, um, don't don't be hard on people be slow to judgment slow and merciful if you're a christian and accept the bible as total truth then you know we're supposed to hear the whole matter as the scripture teaches before we make a judgment or before we speak on the matter so be slow to judge be merciful be kind I told you yesterday there's a certain sound that the trees make. Wouldn't it be interesting sometime to be, let's say, a 100 year old tree and relate all the experiences that you've seen? Climate shift, summer and winter, spring and fall the seasons, the changes of the seasons. And every year, the turning of the winds. I would love to get my book back. It was lost in the flood. But at least parts of it are in here. And I can remember some of the valuable lessons that I learned and that I wanted to pass on to everyone, uh, including people like you. What do you have planned for your Wednesday? What's going on today? Have you begun your fall cleaning in your yards? Our yard's looking... Well, it needs some attention. It needs the uh, gardeners to come in and take care of a lot of the weeds. Make sure that the plants that are perennials uh, aren't smothered out by weeds. I talked yesterday about, was it yesterday or Tuesday, I talked about noticing the, noticing the bad, but focusing on the good. Um, and when I look at my yard, that's what I have to do. There are some bad weeds some things are out of control for, you know, this late. But there are also a lot of good things that are still there. They're just kind of hidden. Why don't you let your good shine today? Here's an exercise for you. Try speaking to people as if you knew exactly what they're going through. And try to imagine that they're going through something terrible. And very, potentially very destructive. And try to think of something you can say or do. Eat, let's say somebody at a fast food store. You go to a Wendy's or a McDonald's and you sit down to eat uh, your burger and fries and maybe there's something that you can say to them right now. 
or maybe there's someone, maybe it's an elderly person who can't get out and rake their leaves. Uh, maybe you and some friends could get together and go rake their leaves sometime. Bag them up and give them to the garbage man. Try to use everything in you to make your world a better place. Will you do that? Will you promise me you'll try? Okay. Well, I've got to go for now, but I want to remind you that you're never alone. You are not alone. And remind you that I love you. Bye-bye for now.